we shall consider the third agenda item, the situation in the Middle East. I have a list of speakers and I now request the distinguished delegate of Syria to make a statement. Madam President and dear delegates, firstly, let me applaud the ridiculous hypocrisy of the delegate of Israel in his rather impassioned speech earlier. But of course, ironically, Israel is gaining diplomatic and even sympathy the world over, as the delegate mentioned. But Syria cuts a sorry figure in the UN today. Blood, bombs, bullets, and bodies. The delegate in her sorrow wants to express the anger and emotion of the Syrians. We feel deep regret in the UN's failure at in interventions in our regions, which in the least has only worsened the situation. Syrians today are suspicious of words like democracy or secularism and the evangelical zeal of its advocates. What has been the human cost? With regard to Israel, Syria has a strong stand due to Israel's ruthless expansionist me measures since 1948. Syria and Israel have been in a state of war for about seven decades now. Syria strongly condemns Israel's acquisition of our Golan Heights and believes that Israel's indulgence in state-sponsored terrorism through expansion is unforgivable and calls for UN sympathy towards the Palestinian cause. Secondly, as Syrians, we want to make clear that we are against all kinds of terror groups, especially the ISIS. We request UN's interventions in this measure rather than an interference with our country's internal politics like USA or Saudi Arabia. We know what's good for us. We don't want any democratization and the like. We applaud Russia for this understanding. Thank you.